Hello, what is up ladies and gentlemen, this is your Maker2199 bringing you guys another commentary. Now this one is the third placement match for King of the Hill and of course I'm going for the victory or at least trying to do everything I can to get a victory and place as high as I can. And I think I did Lancer quite a bit on this one as well and it's just because I think they were Lancering or something like that and I was like nope we're gonna do a little bit of that too but for the most part I think it was pretty one-on-one -on -one Nasher in your face gameplay or at least the beginning of it or quite a bit is so um, on this one I wanted to talk about you know trying to get away from the community rant that I had going I am trying to bring in another new and fresh topic of something that really <laughs> pisses me off. So I was at work the other day and at work there is a few things that everybody knows or acknowledges but most of the time you don't really do or say anything you just work with it. So. Um, you always have, and this is like about the same for every job, you always have those people that like to talk. They talk a lot, they talk about everything they're not. <laughs> you know, they try to make them seem, themselves seem as something they're really not, and they're just really good at BS and that sort of crap. So, I was at work, and... One of these guys that I work with fucking takes uh, his entire workday is basically a break. He's always at the break room, pops out for like five or ten minutes, goes goes back, and he's always talking shit about how management is always at the office, not doing anything, and how whatever they don't deserve to be there blah, blah and he's always talking on how this person doesn't do anything that person doesn't do anything whatever and I'm like yep exactly like you you know it's the exact same mirror reflection but you know you feel like you have the audacity to talk shit about everybody that works but <laughs> you know like himself so I was there and usually I hate you know hip hypocrism like that and Unfortunately, this is one of my teammates, so I kind of have to work with the motherfucker. So, we go on about our day, right? <laughs> and I've told him a few times, you know, you take way too long, you know, of a lunch, you take way too long of a break, and you don't let anybody else. And it's not that I'm trying to be, you know, confrontational and be like, hey, motherfucker, you know? Like, some of these guys want to get. And. It's just that it's true, like it is fucking frustrating when you know that I'm trying to go to lunch and you're like, you know what, let me go first, I'll be back. I only have half an hour and then fucking three hours later, you know, this person is still at the break room and then I have to go and fucking kick him out and be like, hey, it's my turn to go now, <laughs> you know? And it's like, well, I was at my break and I'm like, bullshit. It doesn't take three hours to take a fucking half an hour lunch break. But anyways... So that's not the point still, like, this is just setting up, you know, the scenario. So, one of my other co-workers that's exactly like that decided that it was a great idea to take it upon himself to go to management and bitch about it. And this other guy has the exact same fucking work philosophy, you know, he stresses out more than anybody there. He makes a big deal out of nothing, and then he tries to make himself as has as the only guy that works or does anything for the department when these two guys are full of shit and they do absolutely nothing and me and some of the other remaining two guys basically do all the work so we carry their fucking ass never say anything really to management or anything like that just to them right so that's usually the way that we have approached it or whatever and I've always told them to their face and this other guy, his biggest issue is his smoke breaks. He fucking goes and smokes worse than a chimney. And that is like every 10 or 5 minutes in the building, you earn apparently a fucking hour smoke break. So for every, and these are our two full times, so for every fucking, you know, 10, 5 minutes that you're on the sales floor, apparently you are granted a fucking hour break. 
And nobody else can do anything because fuck us if we go to lunch or something. You know, we get in trouble. But, yeah, so <laughs> that is just some of the frustrating crap that I have to deal with, you know, at work. So, um, I come back and then this bullshit? No. But I was there and I remember that we, I don't know what happened exactly that pushed, you know, the steam to its full charge, you know, really everything was going south somebody was about to bitch to management either one of these two guys trying to defend themselves and not working and that sort of shit and something stupid was about to happen so at the end of the day <laughs> you know my co-worker that decides to complain all the time smoke break dude decides to go and bitch to management cool all right and he was all like all right i already took care of it i already complained you're gonna get on his ass, whatever. Okay, so now we have this guy that doesn't want to work and can't get out the fucking break room. And we have him out here just bitching all fucking day. And I'm like, I would have rather kept him in the fucking break room than have him bitching out here all day. But anyways, you know, fuck me. This guy had to go open his mouth. Then this other guy, realizing that this guy opened his mouth, complained about his extended lunches, went and complained about his extended smoke breaks and that's how they fucking you know verify their bullshit they're like well if I, he's gonna take a fucking two hour smoke break i'm gonna take a two hour fucking break and we've had this fucking game going on since you know the beginning and i remember telling one of these fuckers right to their face when they were with their bullshit you know they, they wouldn't stop bitching about it and i told him you know what uh, he was complaining to me about working and i told him the thing i hate most about your complaint is being told that you hate that they're making you work. I'm like, you are at work to work, motherfucker. <laughs> You're not at work to sit on your ass and have us, the rest of the team, do and pull your weight. You're at work to work. And what bothers me is that we get paid less money than they do because they're the full times. We get paid the same amount, you know, hourly. It's just that we make less because of the hours, right? And I'm like, so these are our two full times apparently. They're the ones that make the most money, but they're the ones that do the least amount of work. Okay, so that's what bothers me. And I'm like, so we fucking do all the work for them, practically, pretty much. They don't even move a muscle. Like, it's a fucking miracle if they move a muscle. And we're supposed to be here and be part of the team, play, you know, be team players. And be happy that our team is, you know, doing well and, and this is moving and this is going to move, whatever. So these two guys bitch on themselves, whatever. They went, they complained, got this little thing going and the whole fucking department after that is a fucking shit show, right? Everybody is being looked out after by management, like you can't go to lunch, you can't go to the restroom, you can't even fucking breathe without them being, you know, right there on your back trying to figure out what's going on who's doing what whatever you know thanks to their little complaining streak that they went on so now we got these two unhappy motherfuckers out here in the sales floor bitching about everything every time we are there right and this is the part that really got me so when this guy went and complained in retaliation to the other guy complaining about his extended breaks and he got complained about his smoke breaks. He comes to us, tells every single one of us individually that the reason that he got in trouble was because he was looking out for the team and nobody else had the balls to go and complain. And I was like, nope. I told him, I told you since the beginning that I've told this fucker off. You know, I told him, if you don't want to work, fucking stay home. That's fine with me. They will fucking hire somebody that wants to work somebody that's gonna be of use to the fucking team right i'm like i fucking kicked them out of the break room plenty of times so that somebody else could go to fucking lunch or me you know telling them that he's taking three hours when we were all fucking waiting for him and a half an hour break does not need to turn into a fucking three hour break right and i'm like i don't need to fucking complain to your management that's not my style right I'm like, my style is if you fuck up in some way, I will let you know right to your face. Like, I don't give a fuck about getting management involved or anything like that. 
So I'm like, it's you guys that fucking wanna do nothing, complain about fucking everything, get management there, because you guys don't do anything to begin with. And you guys are the ones that are gonna get your asses fucking smoked if you don't do shit. So all you can do is fucking talk shit and, and say all the things you thought you've done. So I did this, uh, I caught one of these fuckers once. After I had finished rearranging our whole fucking fishing department. Cause it was a mess, I rearranged it, came up with the idea, whatever. And then I saw one of them talking to one of the managers being all like, oh, well I just finished doing this and I was like, excuse me, you finished what? And then, oh well, um, technically, you know, your maker did this. And, but I was there and I kind of helped and I'm like, yeah, you just kind of came out the break room to come and take, you know, credit for my shit. And it's not the first time and it's not the first job where I've had people trying to, that don't work trying to take credit for other people's work. But, yeah, <laughs> and I know I was pinched there. And I'm talking about the gameplay. I know I was pinched, I, I really did, I thought the other guy I was going to be able to get him. And I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> but, anyways. So, it's not the first time and it's not going to be the last time. That shit happens. And when it happens, you gotta fucking deal with it right then and there. You gotta let them know that you're not gonna stand for their fucking bullshit. Because if you don't let them know, they're gonna continue to take, you know, advantage of you working and all that crap. So, and I told the guy, you know, like, the one that wanted to go complain, nobody else in the fucking department that works wanted to go complain. The only two motherfuckers that have talked about complaining to management about somebody have been you two. You about him and him about you. That's all we've heard for over a fucking year. Uh, this guy takes too long of a, of a break. This guy takes too long of a lunch. And I'm like, yeah? And? You take too long of a lunch. He takes too long of a smoke break. So? And I'm like, and you all don't do shit. And all you do is complain about fucking work. And I'm like, we could, you know, use the spot. If you guys don't want to come stay home, we can use the fucking spot. You know, some of these people are quite worthless. So... <laughs> This guy is going on telling every single person in the department that the reason that he got in trouble was our fucking fault. You know, it's your fault because you didn't have the boss to go and fucking bitch about this to management. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, it's your fault that you didn't have the boss to go and confront this motherfucker in person and had to go to fucking management and bitch like a girl. I was like, that wasn't on me, buddy. That was all on you. And I'm like, I fucking gone and complained, you know, to him, to his face. And I've confronted you when I had to, to your face. You know, I've talked to everybody to their face when I had to. And I'm like, it's you that wanted to go and do this management thing. Because just in case it backfired on you, you need to have that little safety blanket. Because you know that what you do is pretty similar to it too. And yeah, the guy just stood quiet, didn't say anything, and he kept on going for it for about a week, and I was so tired <laughs> that I was so close to losing my shit. You know, I was about to lose my shit, I'm not joking. I was super close to losing my shit with him, because he wouldn't fucking admit that he was the bitch that, you know, that it was in his bitchy nature that he had to go complain like he does about everything, right? And... Yeah, so <laughs> he wouldn't shut up about it. I was, yeah, and he could tell that I was being really fed up about it. So recently, and I remember telling him that same thing. I told him, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told this fucker, you know, some time ago. And I told him that if you don't want to work, you know, stay home. Don't hire somebody that wants to fucking work. And he stood quiet, and for now, he's been working a bit. But I just thought it was funny, though. Look at this bullshit. Damn, son, that Nasher, though. <laughs> but, yeah, like, for now, things calm down, and I had to fucking talk to both of them and just tell them that they're really being unreasonable. Because I'm like, you can't be seriously bitching about one guy taking too long of a break when you do the same exact shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, even... If one of my other co-workers that works would have bitched, I would have been, I would have backed them up. No doubt about it. And, but that wasn't the case, so I had no, you know, these guys have no credibility when it comes to bitching about shit like this. So I was like, nope, I'm not even going to try. 
So, yeah, you know, what happened happened. You know, picking size on that situation is fucking stupid. So, I'm like, I cannot say that a smoke break is more important or that a three hour, you know, 15 minute break turns three hours is more important. I have no clue. Both of them are wrong. You know, I cannot take a side and say, you know what, I would rather side with you. So, <laughs> that's some of the like recent bullshit. And the point, or I guess like the, the lesson to be learned is that. And I've always told these guys this because they always bitch about shit, they get in trouble and they, they try to blame it on somebody else. And it's not only at work, you know, there are people that have that sort of, what's it called, uh, mentality, that sort of nature. I'm gonna get killed. Oh no. <laughs> Thank god I didn't. I don't know how I didn't get popped from the side, but I'm not, they're not the only people that have that sort of mentality. And, you know, Watch this waste of a boom. I can never kill anybody with a boom. So don't be surprised. But um, they're not the only people that have that sort of a mentality. I just want you all to know that. And there's plenty of people that carry that same mentality in general. So um, keep that in mind. You know, be mindful of that. So if you talk to people that all they do is bitch. You know, keep that in mind. They're going to bitch about you too. It doesn't matter how cool you think you are with them. They will eventually bitch about you too. That's just the nature of these people. And they're very hypocritical because when they get bitched on for the same shit that they're bitching about other people, then it's everybody else's fucking problem, you know? And to me, and I just told the guy, you know what? And he's an older guy and, I, and I've had a few issues with a few of these dudes nothing major like oh you know we hate each other whatever no but you know you have misunderstandings even in the best of you know families groups what have you so um it's one of the older gentlemen that i work with and i, and I hate being like that because i try to be respectful and that sort of shit but sometimes you get to the point where that shit goes out the window you know, there is a limit to, not because you're older than me and I'm trying to respect you, that doesn't give you, you know, the incentive or authority or, or more, you know? Like, you cannot be disrespectful towards me and expect me to take it just because you're older. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So, and I do find it really disrespectful having somebody come up to me and tell me, I got in trouble because you didn't have the balls, you know? And I'm like, alright, I told him, I'm gonna tell you this one and I told the man let's try to leave it at that you know like if you want to continue to argue whatever you know fine but let's leave it at that and I told him I really do dislike it and there's a time and place for everything right and you need to know how to talk to people like it's not what you say all the time it's how you say it right like this guy coming out and just telling us that on the things like yeah, I got in trouble because I didn't have the balls you know that is the wrong way to approach things you know, and I'm really cool-headed, I don't really get that, I get mad, but I don't really show the emotion, and I don't let it get the best of me, I'm very professional. So after like a week or two of this motherfucker, you know, going on and on and on about it, I finally told him, you know, I told him, you know what, I told him, what pisses me off the most is that you took a decision on your own to go and complain about this dude. I told him, and you did it because you don't like the dude. Like, we know, and he doesn't like you. Everybody knows that bullshit, right? And I told him, you made that decision on your own. You went and complained on your own. It wasn't a team effort. It was a personal effort. It was a personal problem. And now that you got fucking smoked for it, now it's our fault. It's the team's fault, apparently. When I told him, next time you fucking make a decision like that, take the balls to admit okay I was fucking wrong I did this it backfired on me and it was my problem and I learned this from it don't say it was you all's problem because when you do that you haven't really learned much and what happens when you haven't learned much then you're gonna continue to do the same mistakes you're gonna continue to go and bitch about people and when they get on your ass for it cause you're the same or whatever or worse then it's gonna be our problem apparently so <laughs> that's what I was telling him so I told him don't be a hypocrite like next time you do this shit fucking own it own it be a man about it 
you got fucking popped back with the same bullshit you popped this guy first right on the face you know be a man about it stand up and say you know i fucking deserved it you know or it backfired it didn't work the way i wanted to but fucking own that bullshit <laughs> you know and and it's not that i haven't had to you know complain or talk to managers about some employees and stuff like that it happens it's part of the nature i got a little excited watching the gameplay part of the nature of any job but that doesn't mean you know that i was the one that started it you know sometimes when people get in trouble managers come and they have to do this report they're trying to get the insight of what happened from everyone that way they can go with the perspective that makes the most sense well this guy takes too long of a break so how many people have seen him compared to just one guy bitching you know what i mean so when they call me to the office i'm like well i've noticed that he does take it i did don't tell him all oh, he takes three hour breaks every fucking time but yeah he does take a little bit of an extended break whatever you know like i said i don't mind them getting a coaching i don't mind them getting in trouble verbally i'm not there to fire the motherfucker that's not my job you know and i told this this guy the same before he complained told him don't even go with that bullshit that you're trying to fire his ass so because that's not your responsibility and i told him and that is a fucked up thing to do i told him just go with the fucking idea that if your bullshit works he's gonna get fucking coached verbally He's going to have to, you know, better his ways and that's it, you know. And it happened to both of them. <laughs> both of them got the coaching at the end. It's pretty funny now that it happened, right? And both of them are there and they're trying to, you know, patch things up, calm down and stuff like that. Which is what I think should have happened since the beginning, you know. <laughs> but, you know, some people just get way too emotional, whatever. So, yeah, you know, like I, and like I told them, you know, this is the way that I approach things. I told him I don't have any reason to go to management unless it's a customer being a pain on the ass and they're doing shit that we're they're not supposed to whatever like we had like I said I work in an outdoors store people take their guns knives and all that shit there we had a drunk with a fucking knife being all pissed off waving it around making threats you know we had to fucking kick him out the store and all that bullshit like we're not gonna stand for that shit so unless it's something like that then yes we need to get the managers and even if we need to go get some security or police we're gonna have to do what we have to do to stay safe you know we're there for fun we're there to enjoy hobbies not to fucking cause you know a terrorize attack or whatever that's not what it's about <laughs> so and unless it's a fucking extreme situation like that you know management shouldn't really be involved in my opinion you need to work your stuff out with your teammates and if you can't hang in there, you know, at least hang in there when you get told your own truths. Wow, I missed that job. But yeah, so hopefully this will help you guys that way. I'm not saying that there's a way to avoid it. It's fucking gonna happen. It's happened on every job I've had. And I've had like fucking 10 jobs. And it's gonna happen. But just know how to deal with the situation. Stay cool. You know, collect it. Don't escalate something huge to something it shouldn't be you know just stay calm know how to deal with every person individually and do what you gotta do right but yeah don't let them take advantage or anything like that <laughs> and don't stand for their bullshit either that's i guess the biggest part of the point don't stand for anybody's fucking bullshit it's not worth it <laughs> all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you on the next one thank you bye